so now that we've gone over summation notation, let's talk about some summation formulas. So the first formula is if I'm taking the sum of a constant, well then it's just going to be c times n. The second formula, summation formula, is if I sum up i equals 1 to n of i, this is n, n plus 1 over 2. Our third summation formula will be the summation from i equals 1 to n of i squared. That's n, n plus 1 times 2, n plus 1 over 6. And the fourth and final formula, summation formula, is the sum of the cubes, 1 to n, i cubed. It's going to be n squared, n plus 1 squared over 4. And so you probably want to keep these summation formulas in mind. They're nice and helpful. And so we're going to put them into practice right now. Let's look at the following example. Let's evaluate the summation from i equals 1 to n of i plus 1 over n squared for n equals 10, 100, and then I want you to do it for n equals 1,000. So here, I want you not to add up 1,000 numbers. Instead, we're going to take this summation formula that we were summation here, and we're going to use our summation formulas to help us simplify that. So the summation from i equals 1 to n, i plus 1 over n squared. So the first thing I'm going to notice is that n represents some fixed number here, right? We don't know what it is, but it's a fixed number. And so this n squared in the denominator this is really a constant, so you can bring it out in front. Okay, using one of our properties from earlier we saw, we can pull out constants. And now I can also use the property where I can split up addition here. So I can split this up into the summation from 1 to n of i plus the summation i equals 1 to n of 1. And now I can use my summation formulas. So for this one, this first one, go up to our formulas, and that will be formula 2. That was back here. So we're going to plug in that. So this is n, n plus 1 over 2. And then for this one right here, we're going to use our formula 1 because that's a constant. And so the summation is equal to 1 times n. And so then what I can do is I can distribute in this first term, I'll get n squared plus n over 2. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a common denominator. It'll be 2. So multiply top and bottom by 2. And I can now combine these together to give me n squared plus 3n over 2. And I can factor an n out of the top. And I can now cancel here an n in the top, in the top and in the bottom. 
So I'm left with one in the bottom. So it'll be n plus three over two n. That's what my summation was equal to. So the summation, it was i to one n, i plus one over n squared. So what's nice is this is a really, really nice formula. If you notice, I don't have a summation anymore on the right hand side. So now I can plug in values for n really easy without even adding up numbers. So if n is 10, then what's that summation equal to? The summation will be equal to 13 over 20. Just plugging in n equals 10 into our formula there, it's 0 0.65. If n is 100, plug in a, n equals 100 into your formula, you'll get 103 over 200. So that's about 5.515. And if you plug in n equals 1,000 into your formula there, you'll get 1,003 over 2,000. That's 0 0.5015. So you can now quickly find these summations without actually adding 10 numbers or 100 numbers or 1,000 numbers. We can just use our formula there. And so one final thing I want to mention is that your calculator will compute summations for you. So your calculator can compute these summations. So if you have a TI 83 or an 84, the way you do that is you're going to hit math and then you're going to look for the option that says summation and it should have a sigma and a parentheses there and that will compute your summations for you.